Good morning everybody and welcome to another film and also welcome to the Millennium Bench as it is so named. I'll not sit on it, it looks uh, a little bit damp. So this morning my plan was to shoot a landscape image for a change and just behind uh, the video camera on the moor there is a peel tower and the peel tower is surrounded by beautiful heather moorland. Uh, the forecast today was for it to be clear on the east where the sun's coming up to my right and my, my, in my mind's eye I had this vision of all the heather moorland being side lit. I was going to use the peel tower as foreground interest and get um, a beautiful image potentially overlooking the tops uh, of the mist but as you can see the mist is significantly higher up the hill than I, uh, than I anticipated. Typically on a day like this I would normally be down in the woods shooting, shooting the woodland scenes and loving all this, this, this foggy environment that we've got this morning but uh, I stuck to the plan and the plan might just have been the bad idea. But I'm going to get up there now and uh, just going to have a look around might as well whilst I'm here. First time I've had the hat on um, this, like I was saying, this summer, late summer, early autumn. It's, um, but uh, just having yomped up that hill just there now, I'm absolutely roasting. But uh, it's quite pleasant up here, just behind, just behind the bench to the left, there's actually a road here. I'm amazed it's not run off listening to me. <laughs> Don't say anything to that. I'll try and spin the camera around. You'll probably never see it. Sorry about that. It's gone. <laughs> like a ghost. Oh no, I can see it there now. It's just jumping. Oh, I should go get a picture of that. Never mind. Right, back to the plan. See you in a second. Well, what do you make of that? I don't think there's any chance of any sun anytime soon. It does look quite spooky though in this light, I have to say. Right, time for plan B. Certainly a, a murky one, that's for sure. So plan B for me today is to default back to the stuff that I really enjoy which is looking at the uh, the smaller scenes. Now there is a woodland not far from here um, that I had thought about going to but this this mist fog whatever you want to call it is not set to continue. The time is half past six and it's supposed to go around about half past seven seven o'clock something like that so there's no point chasing a dream I might as well get stuck into some some other things. Um, there's a nice little footpath just down here and all off to the sides it's thick with heather so one of the things I'm thinking initially is to try and do some nice abstracts using this lovely lush heather that's uh, everywhere in this in this local area so let's do that. So this is the, the little section that I wanted to come back to. Now the reason I didn't stay up there, there's plenty of heather up there, is that one, it's a little bit windy, um, but more importantly, everything's down on the ground there and here it's nice and accessible. I don't have to get wet trying to get my composition, I don't have to lie on the ground and I can just play around a, a, a nice, easy accessible height with the camera. Now what I will say is that annoyingly a lot of the heather, um, you see, I don't know, you probably can't pick it up on the camera there, but you get some different shades. You get the lovely pink colour there, and then you've got more of an orangey colour amongst it. And the reason for that is a lot of these flowers have already started to die off. So I'm going to have to be careful with that, that um, dead flowers don't feature within the sharp portions of the frame. This little section here is beautifully fresh, so I might have a go with that first. And uh, I, I can see that back here. There's some more nice um, fresh sections, but what I'm going to try and avoid are areas where the flowers are quite sparse. I, I really want to fill the frame with that beautiful colour. So time to get the camera out. 
So I just literally got my camera out and I started to work up and down as I said this little section here and the, the heavens have opened, the midges are biting, it's just so difficult <laughs> to work in these conditions. At the moment I'm, I'm obviously under my brolly but I'm sheltering my camera and my camera bag. Um, I've not had a chance to put the lens, take the lens off the camera so it's all, it's all open and just, just sat on top. It's, um, yeah, everything's getting wet. I'm really not sure if I'm going to pull my film off this morning. It, uh, it seems that everything is working against me. And the forecast was not for this this morning, that's for sure. So my plan A was a complete non-starter. Plan B was an absolute washout. So I'm on to plan C and I've come to a local woodland not far from where you last saw me. But I've had to shelter in the van um, out the rain. I've had to change my jacket, wipe all the stuff down, but it's stopped, but the forecast is for more rain. So I'm gonna get down there now and uh, try and find something as quickly as possible and then hopefully have something to present to you before the end of this film. Wish me luck. I'm definitely on to something here and I've got a bit of a vision if I can pull it off before the rain gets too heavy again it's already started um, the camera's quite precarious but I, I feel confident that everything's tightened up and nothing's going to fall into the abyss below so the vision for this shot I've played around with lots of different ISO settings, lots of shutter speed settings, um, I've played around with the aperture settings and also images that are sharp and not sharp. So lots and lots of variation. And what I'm trying to get, what I'm trying to get is an image that for all intents and purposes looks a little bit um, monochromatic but I've been trying to get so that the water movement, so that the, the lines of the water as, it's, as, it, as the turbulence is moving through the scene, I'm trying to get it so it looks like charcoal uh, etching, pencil edge etching. And it's all about patterns and just that, like I said, that, just that monochrome feel. I'm taking, now I've got the shutter speed, aperture and ISO combination where I want it. It's now just a case of just taking lots and lots of images and watching how, how the water plays into various compositions and shapes. When, when I get a few, I review them, I, I go in close and I look, I, I look for pleasing shapes that the water has naturally made as it's flowed through the scene. I haven't got anything particular in mind. I'm just looking for something that, that let's say, that, that I find appealing, or as someone might say, that, that speaks to me personally. Everything's getting soaking now, so I'm going to put the brolly up. Now that I've got, now that I've got, um, like I say, all those settings off to a, off, off to a, a fine out to where I want them, um, I'm just going to keep taking shots. And they're all pretty decent, I have to say, now that I've got the composition right, got the angle of the water coming through the frame. Part of the frame is, is the foam at the top, and part of the frame is where the foam sort of dispersed and you've just got the blackness of the water. So I'm going to pick the best of those when I get back to the, the computer, and I'll put that on now.
right, that's it. I'm done. I'm calling it a day. I'm sick of getting wet. Uh, no sooner had I lined that shot up than it's just the heavens have opened again and it's, it's going to be like this all day today. And today is my only real day for, for filming unfortunately so this is what it is. Sometimes I'm sure we've all been, been there. The trouble is with this setup is that I can't keep the video camera dry, it's getting soaked at the moment, and keep my stills camera dry at the same time, it's just impossible. So I'm going to call it a day. Um, thank you for sticking with it so far, it's been a right battle as this one. So thank you all so much for watching, I will see you in the next one, I'll put that image on that I took again just now. Um, so until then, bye for now.